Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I usually don't record on Thursday. No, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. At least I avoid to because I usually have somewhere to be at, you know, in the afternoon because I teach. But I was like, I can't miss this. So I am here for Icon specifically today. So you know how they're coming to Europe, right? And you, you might know, but like I'm in Switzerland. So in a country to which they're not going to. However, I usually go to Paris. I haven't gotten my tickets, right, yet. I know there are still tickets available. And so like I don't feel necessarily pressed by time, but my dilemma is if I end up getting a ticket, that means that it requires me to get train tickets and hotel room, which out of the three, you know, concert tickets, transportation and accommodation, the one that is the least expensive out of the three is the concert ticket. The rest is expensive as hell in July. So yeah, that is my main concern. Cause like, if I end up buying that, will I be able to buy anything else? So we'll see, maybe at the end of this, I will go and get, I grab my ticket. I am not a strong person. I will bend really quickly. So anyways, uh, I'm sorry for the computer fan, by the way, it is annoying as hell. But anyways, English captions on, let's go. So they are in a completely new different company right now. Holy fuck, now that's how you start a song. With all due respect, I will probably be one of your problem, Bobby. I keep on. I am very weak minded, oh my god. Hey! Oh, I'm very really weak minded, holy fuck. Let's go! I am so weak minded. Well, they they like way too strong for me. I'm telling you, if I don't go to the concert, I will. Ooh, that is so hip hop. I will regret it till the end of the day, right? Every time Tanu is gonna be on the screen, I will always cheer. You already know. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I love them! <laughs> oh, I hate myself, not right now. Wow. I say what if I say that this is kind of like icon has always felt icon like but this is kind of like the essence of like where icon started off as it's like it's like you know this pure old school hip hop quality is like inherently icon if that makes sense I mean like I said all of the tracks that icon has released all of them felt Ooh, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna say something. You tell me if you agree or not. Because I know that they've always been very like hands-on still with the music and everything. Even after B.I. left, right? But I would say there is a difference between their songs sounding YG family-like and their songs sounding icon-like. Ooh, I don't know if I'm making this up, but this felt very 
icon like do you know what i mean instead of like why is your family like i know that one is most likely linked to the other one way or another right but this felt very icon-like to me. They will always remain like part of the YG family at heart. For me, still this part of me that resent, you know, YG. It's kind of like this love and hate relationship, you know, let's put it straight up like this. You know, as a fan, like speaking for myself only, I am obviously greedy. Like I will always look forward to more and want for the artists I'm supporting and everything to be able to like fully, completely like express themselves arti artistically or whatnot. And there's a big part of me that believes that YG has, you know, put a lot of limits to that uh, freedom of theirs. So it's kind of like, yes, I am grateful for YG because otherwise without YG, we wouldn't have Icon, but still, Icon deserved a, a lot more, a lot more than what they were given under YG, I feel like. So I hope that this new journey for them is going to be the one that will lead them towards like better opportunities, etc. Et which is already starting to look like it because already your European tour after so long, which mm, you already know I'm gonna like regret it if I don't get tickets. I do. I will. Oh my god. I hate myself. All right, I'll keep you updated on uh, the whole concert ticket situation. Okay, let's keep this going with you, English captions on this go. That's a hairy lamp. Sorry about that. I feel like he's talking to me! Like they're gonna bring the party to Paris and I just know! Oh. No, I'm delusional, please. I'm sorry. I Oh! Oh, thank god they have the seatbelt on. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be the original, alright? I don't care. I wish though, like...
Mm, no, the iconic light! Ah! I just noticed, but like the 143 heart means I love you. You know how sometimes there's this, you're in this situation where it's like you love something so much, but you know it's gonna hurt you. And here in this situation, it's like, it's gonna hurt me like financially. <laughs> Will I financially recover from my love for them? It's almost like I'm re-falling in love with, again with them as I did the first time when they first debuted. Not that my love has fiddled or throughout the years or whatever, but there's this almost new excitement that comes with them redebuting under a new company. Like there is nothing that is inherently different about them besides the fact that they are under a new company. However, it's almost because they are starting a new journey and a new company and etc. 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 that there is some kind of freshness that is that I am attributing to this right here. And this somehow feels like the same freshness and excitement. I don't know, there is something very youthful about it. Like it's almost like they just debuted, if that makes sense. They have this like excitement in this song that we could find when they first debuted. Do you know what I mean? It, it somehow feels like they have been liberated and you can feel it in the song. <laughs> so I said that last time for Bobby already, when uh, he put out, you know, um, Drowning, but like, which amazing song but they have the ability to write lyrics and make songs that makes the listener aka myself feel romanced or pursued like you are the your name in a white pack story right they have the ability to make me feel delusional is what it is and is it embarrassing absolutely but does it feel good <laughs> yes like, please tell me that more They have the ability to make you feel delusional. And those lyrics right there did just that to me. I really want to see this live. Fuck. There's something that's like fantasy right there. They have this ability also to carry like just whatever emotion they want, if that makes sense. Like if they want to make you feel excitement, you will feel excitement. If you if they want to make you feel sadness, you will feel sadness so on and so forth they really have this ability you know to share emotions regardless of what it is and this right there felt really good this is enough to make me blush and that wasn't like that much or whatever but they somehow make it very like intimate like again i'm telling you i'm delusional okay but like, let me be because they are specifically targeting you it does feel very intimate it's almost like they're like you know gazing into your soul and they're like singing those lyrics to you specifically and uh, yeah that was enough to make me blush so they're bringing in that kind of heat but it's kind of like an, a good kind of heat you know it feels good to have icon back you know like that kind of icon back if that makes sense like i said not that they have ever like not been icon but there's this certain freshness about them redebuting i feel like under a new company and it feel it feels very like lightweight if that makes sense but i absolutely loved it it feels so good Oh, I love them. Fuck. Oh, I am so fucked. My bank account is fucked, is what it is. Anyways, on those words, uh, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!